that is placed on these social media sites to understand their power. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And I mean, that has to stop. Okay, right away. Yeah. There's no way to misconstrue that. What does that mean? Oversight yeah. and regulation for free speech is ridiculous. Yeah, okay. Just totally. that just that alone, there's no way to misconstrue that, right? Mm -hmm. What she was saying is what I was thinking she was saying. She was saying they she wants government oversight and regulation for social media. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's crazy for anyone to want it because if the only reason you want it, right, is because you you agree with the ideological bent of the platform, wait until someone else is in charge of it or but wait it, until there's a different government in charge. It's also saying that the very thing that Mark Zuckerberg regrets. Yeah should be happening mm -hmm. like she's essentially saying why should they have different rules for facebook than they do for twitter mm -hmm. like what rules like what, what rules what, we don't have rules we have first amendment rights of free speech breaking news donald trump will be on the joe rogan podcast this friday let's get into the details Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump will participate in an interview on Friday with popular podcaster Joe Rogan, who has a devoted following in the tens of millions of listeners. Two campaign officials said Trump would travel to Rogan's studio in Austin, Texas for the session. Trump criticized Rogan in August on True Social, his social media platform, after the podcast appraised then independent candidate uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. I mean, Robert, Ken wait, Robert Kennedy Jr. Okay, and then it goes into something else. Of course, they're gonna add this in. Yes, this is their, their little background. Kennedy has since pulled out of the race and endorsed Trump. Trump later called Rogan a good guy. Now to this. Will it happen? Elon Musk is fueling rumors that podcast host Joe Rogan will interview former President Trump ahead of Election Day. Back in 2023, Rogan teased questions he would ask the former commander in chief. It would be interesting to hear his perspective on a lot of things. I would like to know what is it like when you actually get into office? I would like to know things like what, what is it like versus perception? Yeah. What is it actually like when you get in that building? What is the machine that runs this country because it's very clear that it's not as simple as elected representatives that are doing the will of the people it's I not listen. i would listen to that interview as you guys know trump gets into a lot of dust ups with people and unless you just are just like you know hardcore left and you just have TDS, then usually people kind of like, it blows off. People have all kinds of beefs, whether it's music industry, regular people, whatever. These are the things that really go viral with Trump. But now we know he is set to do this. And it's amazing because every podcast Trump has gone on, it's gone absolutely viral and has overwhelmingly positive uh, feedback. Every podcast Kamala Harris has gone on, well, it's the opposite. Do you have people in your life who applaud your success? Mm -hmm. Do you have people in your life who you trust? Do you have people in your life who when you trip and fall, they laugh with you and then they pick you up and push you back out there? Mm -hmm. There are people that you know who will be those people if you choose to have them. Mm -hmm. I am blessed to have an incredible family and incredible friends. My best friend from kindergarten is still one of my best Love friends. It. That's crazy. Right? Stacy <laughs> Stacey, Stacey Johnson. Yeah, that's dope. I love it. We used to go to the clubs and her mm -hmm. father Seville. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, and, and so I think that's part of it, right? Because you do need the support to, to deal with it. And especially, I mean, people who are active on social media, it's hard it's out tough. there. It's, it's tough. tough. It's and tough. I mean, you have to find things. Like, I love to cook. <laughs> Thank you. You know, while she was doing Call Her Daddy, uh, her husband was doing Call Your Nanny. Uh, they didn't report that. Uh, this is not so much a strategy as it is. It feels like a commiseration, you know, getting together with the girls after a bad breakup. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Call Her Daddy, Colbert, Stern, both who've castrated themselves on the altar of wokeism. She's like a therapy hot potato. Everybody's passing her around because they don't know what to do. And it's like the people in charge of left the building or they've left for the month it's like they're asking neighbors to water the plants and she's the plant they don't know what to do with her because it's not working out she can't read a prompter she can't think for herself she's not bad she's pathetic and when you look at men what men are thinking and i think even young people who are uh voting for trump 
I think the mistake the Dems made was painting Trump as dangerous. Because when your choice is pathetic, you know, we're going to go with dangerous every time. Like, would you rather be the 1976 Oakland Raiders Herald or the 1976 Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I'm going to be with the Raiders, the pirate ship. So I, you know, as you know, I do a lot of interviews with young men and women in my podcast, uh, <laughs> Gut Raps with Teens. <laughs> uh, they, love buck they love backing Trump because it irks the man. Yep. And these days, what is the man? It's the skittish, panicky, weak, Kamala supporters, the Stearns, the Kimmels, the Colberts that are relegated to the front lawn, shaking their rakes at those rebellious kids making noise. You want to piss off your ponytail, you know, social studies teacher with the Kamala pin on his knapsack? Wear a Trump badge. I mean, it's fun. It's easy. I think that's where a lot of the energy is coming from, because... What you're getting, you, you feel like you're getting something from the machine. Nobody likes a machine, Jesse. And, and women like the bad boy. Yep. That's true. That's, Always. that's how I got where I was, Jesse. <laughs> Trump's opponent in the November 5th election, Democratic presidential candidate Kamala, Kamala Harris, has been considering doing an interview with Rogan to try to expand her appeal to male voters. I hope she does it because she's she's so terrible she's so terrible every answer she's going to turn it into trump it's like it's like it, it's a shell of a person who's just like this manchurian candidate that just goes has to stick to the script and like she said you know people say she's repetitive and stiff and she's just always says the same thing and she told us you're welcome like she's just disciplined okay not that you have to memorize things in order to you know appear normal OK, um, but it gives some numbers to Joe Rogan's podcast. It says he had uh, 14 point. Uh, it says in March that the Joe Rogan experience had 14.5 million followers. This is almost the triple plat the triple the platform's second most popular program. Uh, he also has more than 19 million followers on Instagram and 17 million followers on YouTube. What do you want to bet that um, Elon Musk is also going to try to stream this out? as well so we're, we're talking about 200 million plus people that could see like literally and right now it is trending all over twitter like i said i know elon musk is going to do is going to be uh celebrating this this is what he wanted and so he's going to find a way to promote it this is so funny kamala harris finding out that trump will be going to joe rogan's podcast yeah she should should have accepted it but it will be a disaster for her like every other po podcast guys make sure you are subscribed to my melanie off script i'm actually about to hop off and check out candace owens um it's actually four o'clock i'm about to hop off and check out her new podcast she will be talking to one of kamala harris's family members like I said, I will be reacting to that, sharing that on my Melanie off script. So make sure you're subscribed. There is a playlist on the screen right now that, you know, will start to take you through this madness and all the lies in Kamala Harris's family. And it is just unreal how the mainstream is covering this up. But with that, I'll see you later today and have a good one.